A lot of you might recognize this girl from a viral Twitter video that has been doing the absolute rounds. This sh I can't swear to start a video. This video has sent waves across the internet and Twitter for being one of the most moronic videos I have seen in a hot minute. This girl's name online is Jessica49. She decided to go to the gym, bring one of these wireless mics, set her camera up, and film a guy creeping on her. Get ready to see the biggest over reaction you've ever seen in your life. This is how to not approach girls at the gym. I hate this. I hate this. I hate when those weirdos. It makes me so uncomfortable. Feral, 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 like fucking feral. There's mirrors everywhere, so it's like you can easily ca catch people. Act. Oh, this is nothing. Okay, we're gonna move on to the 35s now. I want you to watch very carefully. Excuse me? You don't have to do that. It's okay. No, no, it's okay. I got it. Thank you, though. See what I mean? All right, here we go. Let's go to the two girls. Let me go with some girlfriends. This is ridiculous. Be careful. I've got to be fucking careful. Can't be too fucking. What part of me working out by myself looks like I'm a fucking dancer in distress? I'm not. I feel unsafe. I feel unsafe. Ah, oh, I cringe so hard watching that. All he did was glance over briefly a few times at where she was at the machine she was on offered to help her with her weight that she was struggling with to put on and she blasts him on the internet and paints him out to be a fucking creep i mean what the shit this video is not me saying that girls don't get creeped on in the gym they absolutely do i've seen it firsthand it's horrible any bloke who goes to the gym to perv on girls Fuck you. But this is not one of them times. This guy is not doing that. He sets up a camera and is talking to a mic. You don't think he's glancing over thinking, I mean, what the fuck is that bitch doing over there? You're filming him. It is an absolute disgrace. And thank God this backfired so hard. I love it. It gives me so much joy. We're going to get onto her bullshit apology. But first, can I talk about this bullshit? What if I just ripped his pee pee out of its socket so he could never reproduce again? This is why I don't want kids. Natural selection better take the weirdos out. He's going to jail for staring at an underage 21 year old. What the actual shit is your dumb prick mind talking about? First of all, he's going to jail for staring at an underage 21 year old. What? Second of all, all this for a guy who just tried to help you and glanced at you in the gym because you're in his peripheral you tried so hard to demonize and paint this man as a creep what happens if she succeeded and suddenly all these girls think this bloke they recognize him in real life and think this guy's an absolute creep just because she painted the narrative she fucking wanted and don't be mistaken before you read the apology when she was getting all this backlash she tried so hard to justify her stance this guy kept making me extremely uncomfortable at the gym this is why I'll end up crying on the stream because I feel so grossed out at times with the amount of sexualization I experience. Hopefully this spreads awareness for girls who experience this type of treatment at the gym. All you did is the opposite. Thankfully, people have level heads and can see that your situation isn't the fucking same as what actually can happen at the gym. A lot of people want to take this video out of context. I found a squat rack area in the corner of the gym. He followed me there right after I did 
There was plenty of ad machines to use, but he chose that one, not doing the workout half the time. The mirror is just me and not the whole gym, so he was not looking around. There was nothing but a mirror in my direction. I get constantly harassed by men in public spaces. But I even show an inch of skin, so yes, I get pissed when they glare. Disturbingly long periods of time. I'm not looking for views or clicks. I just posted this to spread awareness on how disturbing being stared at can make a woman feel. I don't think it's bad to look at someone once and be like, oh, that's a pretty girl. But I personally put my headphones on. I mind my business and make sure to look unapproachable because I'm only there to film gym vlogs and work on my progression in the gym. First of all, the only reason you made this video was for views and clicks. The full intention of thinking, I'm going to find someone today who's staring at me, make them out to be a creep and post it on TikTok and get loads of likes and sympathy. Thank God it backfired. Thank God this guy isn't living his life and people think he's a creep because of this dumb prick and she goes on to try and justify it even more here it's important to see it because she obviously walks everything back not before though she released a twit longer today however a couple days ago she released another twit longer where again she just isn't sorry most of my comments aren't serious so please take them with a grain of salt since the gym video has blown up way bigger than I anticipated, I obviously noticed my comments have become somewhat contradictory. I stated that the video was for awareness and then said for entertainment. This was twisted into people thinking I made up a situation for entertainment. However, I meant the video was meant for awareness, but the comments I had made about being an underage 21 year old, a TikTok inside joke, and about ripping his pee pee off in natural selection were meant for entertainment to be taken as a joke and not to be taken seriously. Shut the fuck up. The video was for awareness and I will not apologize for how I felt in that situation. There was an issue prior to this part of the recording that led to me taping the second part of my workout for my own safety due to past experiences I've had. I realize now that if I were to post it for awareness, I could have kept the stare counter and blurred his face and make it more clear when I'm joking. This, has, this is how I tend to cope. I was not thinking when that video was posted. I was thinking of this form of content perspective like what joke should I say that woman could relate to and not from a how could this negatively affect people in the video. From my point of view, this seemed like a relatable funny video some woman could relate to. What are you talking about? You're in the video calling him every name for a creep and making him out to be this horrendous person. I'm sorry that I painted this man in a bad light, but that's how I seriously felt. It was wrong for me to take a situation like this and post it on the internet for all to see. I thought I was doing right and being entertaining at the same time, but I made a gross mistake trying to combine the two. Shut up. What a bullshit apology. And that was only our first twit longer. Today, or yesterday technically, I guess, 24th of January, she then tweeted out, by gross mistake, addressing the gym video. Uh, and this one's a lot longer. And I hate reading her shit, because I just can imagine her annoying fucking voice in my head every time I read this. But for the sake of the situation, I have to read it, because let's read this fake, forced, bullshit apology. A lot of my content is lighthearted and humorous, but I wanted to start off by saying this is the most serious thing I've ever posted. First of all, I want to apologize sincerely to the man at the gym where this all started. He didn't do anything wrong to me, and I blew our interaction out of proportion. Yeah, no fucking shit. I know many people think that I'm only apologizing because I got called out from the video I posted, and this is half right. If I wasn't called out for this video, I wouldn't have had the chance to learn from this mistake, or even realize I made a mistake to begin with. When I first posted the video, I felt I was completely in the right, and I felt I was making a good attempt to connect and relate to my female audience who may have to deal with uncomfortable situations at the gym. And now, after reading literally thousands of comments about me, the situation and the man in question truly opened my eyes to how damaging this could have been for him. Men and women deal with very different problems in the realm of opposite sex, and after looking through the lens of an innocent man, put in a situation like that, it honestly made me feel sick to my stomach with guilt. I don't believe her being like, I didn't understand the complications it can have. And all you're doing is painting him out to be this nasty creep. Obviously, you know, posting it to the internet could damage someone's reputation forever. Before writing this, I was posting whatever made me feel justified for the video, which was wrong on my part. And I'm extremely immature for doing so and trying to make light of a situation that is a lot more serious and should be taken that way. I've suffered from SA and S and SH prior to this situation. And in the past, these events were extremely damaging to me. After speaking with friends that were honest with me, I was able to keep an open and understanding mind. It took literally thousands of people displaying their distaste for the way I acted for me to realize this in full effect. Because the man at the gym did nothing damaging to me and I still felt threatened in the situation, I reacted by trying to cope with it probably the worst way possible. My past isn't an excuse or justification for what I did, but it's something I want to personally and professionally address with a therapist in the future because I don't want to and never will hurt anyone again in this way. The jokes I included in the TikTok were far from tasteful and funny. I look back at that video now and cringe I even got it posted. 
Again, because of the wake-up call given by mainly Joey Swole and his community, I think it's important to call people out for their mistakes and in the words of Joey, help them do better. This is exactly what I plan to do with not just my content, but my life moving forward. You'll, you'll forever be known as a gym girl who falsely accused a guy of being a creep. Your credibility is a shot. Now, this is already becoming a lot to read and honestly i consider making a video to help convey my sincerity for what i'm saying but i also wanted to prove this isn't a publicity stunt yes it was or a way to farm clicks so i feel like this is the best way to express what i'm doing to move forward so i'm deciding to remove the videos of all my platforms because i don't want this misconception some people might think this is a way of me hiding a video or sweeping it under the rug but the text isn't going anywhere i eventually decided that there's no real combination of words i could put together to gain the trust of the community and the people who are just discovering me in the worst way possible with my 600k followers on TikTok and as an influencer, I hold a lot of responsibility to use my platform in a way that spreads love and happiness, which I did the exact opposite of that. I'm sorry to the men and women who deal with or have dealt with false slash true allegations of SA or SH. And if I made their situations feel belittled by mine, I apologize to my fans who have supported me and have been supporting me through this. I messed up and I'm going to just own my mistake. I love making content and sharing my experiences with community and people in general, and I hope I'm able to show growth, not only in a few days and weeks, but in months and years as I continue to be able to do what I love. This will be an ugly scar on my character for a long time until I can show that I am growing. I just hope people give me the chance. So truly, I'm sorry, and I'll not just say that. I'm sorry, like, it's going to fix everything. I'm going to show and prove to everyone this is not who I am, and this is not who I am going to continue to be. Mistakes help me grow, and I'm willing to learn and take people's constructive criticism where it is needed. In hopes of moving on after this situation, I'll no longer be discussing the topic any further. Along with that, I will be taking a break from social media until I'm in the right mental space to keep making content. Oh, God. That was an absolute fucking mouthful. I have a hard time believing that, to be honest. I have a hard time believing her. She tried so hard for days and days on end to justify this. The TikTok is so edited, so intentionally made. She tried painting this guy out to be a creep. And again, if there was no backlash, if it actually went through, if somehow, some way, God forbid, she painted him to be way more of a creep so it looked damaging, this guy, his life would be fucked. So, yeah. Like the video right now if you agree. Comment below if you think she should be forgiven or not. Subscribe right now. Loads more content coming soon. Yeah, thank you for watching. Until next time, fuck off.